On January 1, 1921, Dr. Roy Dean crossed the U.S. border into Mexico. He remained 60 years, establishing a dental practice, pioneering Mexican waters, and becoming a staunch advocate of the angling opportunities in his adopted country. Doc's enthusiasm for light tackle sail fishing led to the formation of the Sailfish and Tarpon Club of Mexico in 1943. Three years later, this club became the first to sponsor the tagging of sailfish, ultimately tagging more than 2,000 fish. His research was flawless, and though some experts disagreed, he was sure white marlin could be found in the Mexican Caribbean. In May 1962, Roy Dean captured the first white marlin on rod and reel in Mexican waters. Doc's frequent correspondence with the IGFA led to his appointment as an international committee member in 1944, a post he held for 45 years. Fishing rodeos were popular in Mexico at the time, but Doc envisioned something different. A light tackle competition between IGFA clubs, abiding by IGFA rules, and releasing fish. When the rodeo promoter refused to let Dean's team compete, the four men fished their own tournament as one-man teams. Doc won, and his sailfish and tarpon club claimed the first plaque on the big belt, an ornate leather fighting belt Doc had designed as a rodeo prize. It was March 1946, and this was the first event of the International Light Tackle Tournament Association, and the first international billfish tournament fished according to IGFA rules. Doc's conservation ethic was an integral part of ILTA's philosophy. Their tournaments were the first all-release billfish events, and their high standards were the basis for prestigious competitions that followed. By 1948, ILTA had a format, three-person teams from IGFA clubs fishing separately, changing boats and partners each day, using hooks and line provided by the host club, and releasing all fish. Doc insisted on the highest ethical standards. Teams competed for the honor of having their club's name engraved on the coveted belt, and there were no cash prizes. Roy Dean died on November 27, 1990, having dedicated his life to the sport and to conserving the resource he so loved. Together with his wife, Dita Lou, he fished every inch of Mexican coastline and beyond, often under hazardous and primitive conditions, promoting catch and release. Doc often remarked, I would rather make a friend than catch a fish and his legacy of goodwill is reflected in the ILTA members who have continued to open new fishing grounds, teach locals how to rig baits and catch fish, and help countries establish sport fishing industries. The first Big Belt trophy has been on permanent display at the IGFA since being retired following the 50th ILTA tournament. It is only fitting that Roy B. Dean now assumes his own place of honor in the IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame.